kaboom. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the AIP Show. This is Amit. And Dominic. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try and lighten up a little bit, I guess, I think, maybe, in previous episodes. Talk to me, Dominic. What you got? Uh, where shall we start? Where shall we start? How about hypocrisy in the National Football League? <laughs> All right, go. Deshaun Watson. Mm-hmm. is a quarterback. He's actually my favorite, was my favorite NFL player. I was going to say, paraphrase. <laughs> um, Update that thought. Who probably about a year and a half ago, there was some buzz coming out about accusations of him being inappropriate. I guess it's not, it was sexual misconduct, I guess is the term, right? I don't think he was ever accused of rape or anything. No, um, it wasn't. By, well, actually, by, I haven't seen that yet. By many, oh, it could have been because they're all civil cases now. It's not. It's not. Um, yeah, many masseuses. Yeah. Is that the plural of masseuses? Sure, masseuses. Masseuses um, accused him of inappropriate touching and also exposure. I guess mm-hmm. um, exposing himself. Exposing himself and touching them or grabbing them to touch him. Um, so in essence, he was somewhat suspended for the year though he got paid he was just kept away from the team and he was just traded and received the like 180 million dollars guaranteed it's just wow unreal hasn't played in a year um more cases come along all civil um no evidence of or enough to prosecute anything and it just i started thinking about some of the things you know in sports we accept and, and don't accept Right. Um, you look at Mike Vick, who this is maybe wow, at okay, least 10 years least, ago. Yeah. Um, turned out he was running the dog mill and, you know, it's very sad, killing dogs, abusing dogs, things of that nature. He was the most vilified, I think, athlete we've ever had in the NFL. In fact, maybe in sports in recent memory. And he went to at jail. Least here in, the, in the U.S., he went to jail and the backlash, understandably so, was horrific there's no backlash for other people. We had Ray Rice on video knocking his girlfriend or wife out in an elevator. You had Ben Roethlisberger um, accused of two rapes. You had Ray Lewis involved in that murder. Um, and everybody seems to brush it off. Hold up, but it's not just, it's Kobe Bryant as well, man, on the basketball side. Oh, yeah. Everybody forgets about, that. Everybody I, forgets I, about Kobe. I forgot about that. That's what I'm saying. I And I'm not a Kobe fan, never have been, but everybody forgets about Kobe when it comes to this. Everybody's yeah. He's got, oh, he's an amazing teammate, great. Per- they always forget about that significant aspect that happened in Colorado and and the payoff associated with that. It's it's weird. We put, listen, I'm a dog owner. You're about to be a dog owner. No, no I'm debating a being a dog owner. I'm oh, you're about to be, be so just, just accept it and move on. Um <laughs> But it's like we treat animals with more love and concern than we are with actual humans. It's kind of weird to me. No, it's 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 weird. Okay, so on that note, a friend of mine, uh, sadly, uh, their her dog, their dog, uh, ran across the street this past Sunday. Doesn't never always never does this. Did it this one time and um, perished. Uh, and I felt so bad, like legitimately felt so bad. Um. Obviously, they were broken up about it, et cetera. But you know me, I'm pretty dead inside. And it was weird that a dog Accurate. would do that. <laughs> that a dog would, 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 would elicit that kind of emotion from me. Um, whereas many humans in your, uh, and many human dynamics do not. Well, to that point, I mess with my wife joking all the time. Like, she said, oh, poor dog. You know? Just homeless kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you realize we see homeless humans. Or like if there's a hurricane coming. Oh, my God. What happens to the the animals? And I say, yeah, what happens to the people too? Right? Well, we always give, we give people the expectation of you can do better. Or, or you can do something. The dog is um, at the behest of the human, right? Um, the dog's at the... At, at, or the dog which, is at the behest of nature. True. No. Okay. But here, here's also what's funny, right? Is we're from Jamaica, Dominic and I, obviously, right? And... In Jamaica, there's enough mongrel dog running around police, right? Months. They, they were, you're right. Yeah, sorry. Now, I look at, I don't feel a way, I don't feel as, like, I'm all jaded by that. However, and so whenever we bring down people from the U.S., nine out of ten times, 
And for whatever reason, 99% of that, it's women would be like, oh my God, the poor dog. And I would just be like, uh, yeah. Now up here, I may think about things differently based on whatever. I don't know why, but I, I'm jaded by that in Jamaica and other countries where I've seen this as well, third world countries throughout. You know what I'm saying? So it's, but yeah, dogs elicit a different kind of experience. Emotion, sorry. From people. They do. You know? Lack of compassion for fellow humans. Yeah. Um, speaking of lack of compassion, passion okay. you see this wells fargo lawsuit a few weeks yeah. ago brought on there was a report that um wells fargo's lending algorithms oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the accusation was drawn a racist history to deny refinancing at a much higher rate for black people this was lawsuit was based on a report that came out that said over 50 percent of black applicants i don't know how many actually applied but over 50 percent in 2020 were denied Whereas other lenders and banks had a much, much lower rate of denial. Therefore, something is off that for Wells, kaboom, skyrocketed um, crazy rate. What's wild is that people aren't realizing and, and you know, the, people like to say, well, we're past, you know, racism. There's a civil rights movement in the 60s. We moved on. Obama was president. Like that's always that's always that's always a big one. It's like, oh yeah. Okay, that means yeah. Okay, that that which doesn't negate that there's still tens of millions of racist people. Also, doesn't negate even worse that there's still systems in place. We even talked about last episode or two episodes ago about the tax codes. That's not even intentional, but it disproportionately affects people of color, right? But then you have actual systems in place. We've talked about appraisals in homes for black homes that are significantly lower than when you get a white family to, to pretend it's their home, the same house. All of a sudden, the values skyrockets. You know, a judicial system. You know, as much as we talk trash about DeSantis all the time, you know, we should be talking trash I have in the past. Also, I'm hearing that your boy Biden wants to, like a $30 billion package for policing. I mean, it's, 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 it's madness. Absolute madness. Um, yeah, no, it's, 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 <laughs> bro, we're, you gotta, re, there's, okay. There's a couple things to think about there, right? There is, there are traditionalists. So you're, there are people who are set in their ways, meaning with everything, right? Biden is a, he's an old man. So feasibly it would expect that he'd be, of a particular mindset. It's hard to change the minds of people in when they hit a certain age, right? So he sees police as being a good thing and you can show him a lot of things that are there. Um, but again, he sees the value in, in excess policing. Um, I obviously do not. Uh, many people do not, but there are many people who do as well. So it's one of these things where it depends on, yeah, it just depends on a lot of things. It depends on your history. Your, and again, your history with them as well. Right. Biden's history with police is not the same as whatever else. And as I've said many times before, until you experience something that affects you directly, it's very difficult for you to impact change or affect change or, or, or even want to strive for change unless you're just that really noble, moral person. The reality is it has to affect you and it ain't affected him. It ain't affected any of these cats in, yep. in, in, in the, you know, in government. Right. Because they've never had the run in quite the contrary. These guys are taking care of them. These guys are their bodyguards and whatever else. Right. This is why I always find it funny where it's like, hey, we need and every friggin politician comes up and goes, we're going to drain the swamp and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, man, really? Like the amount of money. So my gripe with government in general is you cannot be expected. You we cannot expect them to make good decisions when they have all the power they right are able to legitimately make so much money these are government jobs and all of them are millionaires government jobs look at their salary their salary does not does not like align with the lifestyles they lead yeah Why exactly listen they, they wouldn't be doing all of them wouldn't be doing it this is my point just for the salary. so if they're doing right? it for if the they money they're doing it for you that much yeah this is my point. There is no nobility. There's no whatever. They're doing it for money. Right? There may be a couple outliers. 
right? Like I think Bernie's an outlier. <laughs> just by deep, just looking at Bernie, I'm like, all right, my bad, dude. You were an outlier. There are probably a bunch, a few others that I'm not thinking about. But generally speaking, I know you're wrong. Sorry, dude, sorry, here's what knocks me. Here's what irks me when people knock Bernie is they say, well, look at this guy. He's got an expensive house and this. He's full of shit. I'm like, sucking my name. I'm like, he's not full of shit. He's not saying you shouldn't have money. His gripe is like a, a company like Amazon that's gazillions and skirting taxes based on the laws. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you've got um, their employees complaining about things. That's what he's talking about. He, they, people make it seem like the way Bernie, I say, find me one quote ever. That yeah. says Bernie says, "Oh, you shouldn't have money. You shouldn't strive for this. You shouldn't have a nice house." Never said that. I mean, he's, he's not a hypocrite he's, because yeah, he has he, a, a nice house and and some money. And it's like, yeah, it's 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 crazy in that way too. But these cats make so much money. Actually, there was a couple weeks ago, I think it was um who put this up there. Uh, who the hell was it? Damn it! I had it written down here and I deleted it on accident. Um, there was one of the senators proposed an idea that you could not invest in stocks that directly impact you some set effect now it's obviously not going to pass but it's, it's great for the tv and it's great for he, these are things that they put out there going look i'm for the people but because they know it's not going to pass there's no chance right like like even even your boy mansion right this idiot and i don't like him at all for a variety of reasons but he's reluctant to so the whole electric vehicle chain right he's not about that life and he so he, he opposes everything related to electric electric vehicles in general. But why? Because his company is the coal manufacturing company. Period. They make so much money off of this. Why would he go the opposite direction? He's making so much money for the company he owns. That also, guess what? Supplies the state that he runs. How is this even a possible thing? Wait, supplies with what? The state, is it like coal? all the coal. Like yeah, the, he's got he's got the contract. <laughs> Like, how does this make any kind of sense, right? Because then we go, oh, the laws are there to protect whatever, and we're all getting, no, we're not all doing stuff. People representing you and I are not the people, they're, they're representing themselves, right? Plain and simple, right? And, 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 and his quote was this, here's his quote, by the way, which is probably one of the dumbest quotes I've heard in my entire life. Here's his quote, quote, this is on March 14th. He goes, I'm very reluctant to go down the path of electric vehicles, Manchin said. I'm old enough to remember standing in line in 1974 trying to buy gas. I remember those days. I don't want to have to be standing in line waiting for a battery for a vehicle because we're now dependent on foreign supply chain. <laughs> I mean, just let that soak in. I don't have to. I don't have to opine on that anymore. Just let that soak in at the idiocy of that statement. Like you've got to be at the. I mean, you've got to be a level of dumb to make that statement. There is zero correlation between the two. Yep. And then here's and another again, thought. Let's not be sub let's not be dependent on foreign. Let's okay, fine. In that industry, let's build it up locally. But it's knowing that the whole idea of the electric vehicle situation is do it at your damn house. You ain't got to go to a spot, man. <laughs> like the whole I mean, it's just No, but he's that. saying he's saying wait for the battery that we have to get from overseas. Every oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, but what do you mean wait? Fuel? It comes with the car. <laughs> we're not waiting for fuel to come in from wherever right now. We're not waiting for everything else that we're getting from foreign countries. I'm kind of it's just the dumbest and knowing that. And, and I had this, this conversation with my mom, actually, which I found uh, pseudo-comedic last week. Um, uh, she said something to the effect of, and I'm paraphrasing her, something to the effect of, she's tired of people, she, somebody, I forgot, she, uh, she didn't tell me who or she told me, and I forgot, that somebody was proposing, um, somebody on the Uber left was proposing um, driving less, moving to electric vehicles, and winning off gas by way of, you know, taking public transportation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And in essence saying, I want to block these things. So if I'm forcing people to take buses, that's a good thing because they're not using as much of the resources. And she was like, we're in a situation right now where everything costs so much, right? We should focus on fixing the gas problem now, right? So that we can then get those prices in order before we look at solutions for the future. Except what I tried to express to her was that mentality is how you get nowhere in the future. Because if you're saying, I'm in a bad situation now, I got to fix this situation now without looking at the future, then you will never be in the right situation, period. Because every time you're in that situation, you're affecting your current situation, not looking at the future until the future bites you in the butt and you go, oh, crap, we didn't think about this. 
which is with everything, including our healthcare system, everything else. This is just the way we live as a society, by the way, is very reactive, right? Reacting to right now, but you have to keep your eye on the future. Now, I'm not saying what this guy was, 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 was suggesting, i.e., leave your car at home, take the bus all the time. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you have to look at steps to get to the future. Like 2026, the minimum fuel, I think it was 46 miles or 40, gal 40 miles a gallon minimum for all new cars from 2026. Um, so we're going in that direction. And you're forcing cars to do this and everybody's going that your path because you have to. And we know that's not here yet, but you have to aim for that. But I've spoken a lot. Go ahead. Defund police and invest in public safety. Thank you for bringing light to the conversation. I appreciate that. Um, it's simple. Oh, all right, I'll bring some life. Thank you. Light as well, not just life. No. Oh, Pope asking for forgiveness. You saw it as? <laughs> I, I didn't see it. I, I saw your show notes. I didn't, oh, and I just, I just Googled it. Regarding oh, the atrocities we've talked about in, I think, two episodes in the past in Canada, which this news still, I don't understand how it hasn't been. Like, I feel that the majority of people still aren't aware of this. And then I saw a segment on 60 Minutes. Um, just the atrocities for decades, thousands upon thousands of indigenous kids that went missing and were now finding um, their burial sites where they were buried. And these kids were taken away as kids, five, six, seven years old, from their families, forcibly, by law, removed from Native families to indoctrinate them into the white way of life and remove the quote unquote savage from them. But the white way of life was all religion and Dominic moved away from his mic for something. I don't know why, so I'm just jumping in here real quick, but that's all related. It's all related to religion. So yes. continue. And religion and, you know, um, culture. This was the savage heathenous which religion, culture. Which is religion. Yeah. Yeah. All that was religion. By the way, yeah. all of that was religion. Yeah. The only viewed as savages because you the had truth. a different religious point of view. <laughs> it's all religion. <laughs> yes. This is what gets me because it's all that. This love that we have in the world, this whole thing that we abide by and whatever else, it's all predicated on religion. And somebody's religion being the stronger of all the religions based on the people they conquered and the money they took. Yeah. Oh, speaking, speaking of that. I had um, Brian Stevenson. He, I, he's so fascinating. He's the um, he's the head of the Equal Justice Initiative. He's the one who wrote the book Just Mercy, which was turned into the movie with Michael B. Jordan. The movie was eh, the movie was okay. I give Never it, saw it actually three abs on a what really? a minute is watching scale. Three and a half abs. The book is my favorite book ever. It's it's unreal. You fly through it. I know you're not into a, you're more of a movie than a book guy, but the book was or an audio book so, situation. Or an audio book, yeah. The book was so damn good. And he dedicated his life to this. He graduated from law school, I think even maybe Harvard Law, and moved to Alabama as, um, you know, helping people out. So he was talking about, you know, when the Holocaust ended and the people who were, um wronged obviously the jews you know those who were in power at the time were removed the the guilty p people so i'm pre i'm all, i'm explaining this in like a third grade level right the guilty people were gone right because they created did such a bad thing they were removed south africa apartheid the guilty people were removed america you know what happened with slavery and even post slavery and um Jim Crow area and reconstruction, the guilty people were still in power and still are, right? All the laws, all the everything. It was just like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, we're just gonna switch the way in which we do this. So we're gonna it, we're gonna write laws like sundown laws, we're gonna write laws, loitering laws to incarcerate the Negro population, right? We're gonna have the 13th Amendment that says slavery is banned, but still except for punishment. Right, we're going to continue to incarcerate. People don't realize America is that place where it's like we just we just pivoted. We didn't change. We didn't remove. We didn't amend. We didn't rectify. We literally just pivoted into a different mechanism. Watch, watch, uh, watch the movie, but really go read the book or listen to it. Just mercy. So, 
I will go on a on a, on an entertainment lighter. Well, not actually not lighter note. Two things actually. One is, um, there is <laughs> there's a CNN Plus, and I don't know why. Two things, and I think I've said it here as well. Does nobody have a marketing team anymore? We just the plus? plus is that where you're going? The plus it bothers me so. Oh much yeah, trust plus. me, bothers me too. I'm like, thinking I'm like, why everybody what? has the plus. Everything is plus. It's so foolish, but everything is plus, right? And I blame Apple, but everybody else went plus after that, right? There was I an Apple the Plus, first. Apple TV Plus. I, I, I remember I Apple TV was just Apple TV was just was, was actually the device, and Apple TV yeah. Plus was the channel and everything like that. Really. I'm 99 sure? questioning me. I'm 99% <laughs> yeah, sure. So sure and now I feel now I feel insecure about my thought oh, process. Cause I hit the Google machine while you're doing I think, that. I know Disney sure. was what was the what was the Google failed Facebook? Was that Google Plus? I don't even remember, honestly. You which one I'm talking about? Possible, yeah, it's possible. But everybody's went Disney? plus, which really bothered me. Disney is plus, right? ESPN plus, which is now part of Disney Plus, CNN Plus, Apple oh, TV. Oh, you're right, there plus. is an Apple TV Plus. No, that's what I watch. What do you mean I'm right? That's what I watch. When you're watching <laughs> Apple TV, your Apple TV is the device. You're watching Apple TV Plus. Oh, all right. Right? This is the whole thing. Everybody can plus. And CNN Plus, what the F? But also, independent of the plus, isn't CNN, or, I mean, are people going, you know what? I need news on demand more than it's I need more out CNN. There? Like, was there ever a shortage of CNN available for people? Like, I don't understand this. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, like, you can't get all the news. Like, are now my on CNN Plus? Am I getting news from like other countries as well? So if I want to watch Indian news versus American news, like, is that what I'm getting with CNN Plus? Like, what? Like ESPN Plus? I get it because there's sports that are happening someplace else that I can't all I can't watch all of my TV. But now I can. That's a different situation, right? What the, what is CNN Plus? So I don't understand that. But that came on. That, too many. That I, it's right. funny you said. I was just thinking that the other day. Too many pluses. It's complete, but it's also just laziness. I mean, it is lazy on a marketing perspective. Like these marketing teams deserve zero. Like, just fire them all. This is horrible because they're doing you know nothing. We're gonna we're gonna have an AIB plus, which will do Ex what? Extra content. <laughs> what does that do? Subscribe. Rate review. Subscribe. <laughs> More to come. It's gonna rebrand. We should just rebrand it, by the way, yeah. and just put a plus on there. Just plus. Just rebrand it. There you go. AIB plus going forward. Yeah. Right, and the, <laughs> yeah. and the plus is just you know a random guest every now and then if yeah. we can get one. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's, it's been <laughs> speaking of random. When this this clown was younger, he had a nickname that was Jaga B. Yeah, okay. His last name is Jaguani. Jaga B. Yeah, where say, the B came from? Wait, the B was, what's I what's the B that, for? I didn't what? create that. I didn't create yeah. the name. Uh, what's the B? It's just a B. Yeah, I didn't create the name. B. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know somebody else created it. It had a flow to it, and it just stuck. <laughs> I don't know why. Because you couldn't just have the Jaga to make any sense. You put the B on there. It's like, all right, now that's at least some punctuation to it. And that was the dynamic that was there. But yeah, no, I didn't do this. You know, uh, today's but, episode of, or today, I, I mess it up every single episode. Yes, you do. In today's, what would you call it, segment of who knows. Mm -hmm. I have to fact check this, but I read that. Oh my God, dude. How are your who knows? No, because I you mean. You also don't know your who knows, man. No, the who knows. Yo, anything I'm hearing or reading about in life, I got to like quadruple check. So it's rough. Valid. Um, but do that before the who knows. You can't tell us the who knows when you don't know that. One out of every 200 people on this planet so a half percent of this entire population um is a direct descendant of genghis khan wow kind of wild that guy would sow his seeds did you do your um your 22 and me did you do all that stuff ancestry yeah you did yeah i found a any, brother any 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 you know i found a brother no, no, but any Genghis Khan situation, your dynamic, I was saying, like oh. any anywhere from the, from that dynasty in your in your situation. Hmm, I'll tell you right now. Any Mongol? It's Mongol, right? It's a Mongol dynasty. Yeah. And they said, I don't know what the Mongol Empire is, but they said if you live in the Mong people in the Mongol Empire, it's mm -hmm. one out of twelve people. Damn, this dude ain't no joke. Yeah, that's crazy. Trust me. That's crazy. All right, let's yeah. see your DNA results. Yeah, Mongol. Yeah, so that was one that caught. While you're while you're doing that, I'll go in and say a couple things. One is, uh, do you ever play Halo? I feel like you were one of these Halo games. No, I was, I was so calm. Okay. Halo. So the Halo's got a TV show out right now on Paramount Plus, right? And I watched the first two episodes yesterday, and like all these shows, I'm, I think my bar may be too high, right? 
because the CGI was just blah, like it was garbage, the straight basura. Like it was horrible. You could just see the fake background. It just really bothered me. That was one thing. Two is Halo takes place in the year 25 something, something, something. So distant future. We got the same guns we have now, like in other planets and whatever else, <laughs> same guns we got now, like nothing changed. And only this alien race has actually like, you know, like, like lightsaber type guns or whatever. Like we got like machine guns, no advancements. We've made advancements between 19 or whatever and today in weaponry. And they made no advancements in 500 years. And also you're on a foreign planet and you're still producing regular bullets. Like nothing has changed. Right. So I never understand that when all these movies and there's still gas driven cars in the whole nine. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, how is this a thing? How are we not pass this? And, and so I see this in every one of these because movies. of politicians that we have now. that are But these are on foreign planets, my dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I get like natural resources like water and stuff like that. that you're chasing down around the galaxy. I know many stories are built on that. Fine. But same guns, man. Like, seriously. So either way, it was kind of cheese tricks, and I, I I didn't really love it so far. Um, pseudo hate watching it now, but I may stop pretty soon because it just was not very very well executed. Although they put a lot of money behind it, but I digress. Are you a Mongol or no? I am not. Really? Because I'm pretty much everything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That caught me out. I was expecting it too, but yeah. And the last thing I'll mention on. Did you know there's a? So I didn't know this. So George Clooney is producing an Ohio State docu series. Him and, his, him and his producing partner, and by the way, his producing partner always gets crapped on. He never gets showcased. It's always George Clooney, but it's his producing partner they've been working with forever, right? And his producing partner um, has been like has been with him for so long, and people just forget. People always assume, people always say just George Clooney, and it's not. He's got a producing partner, um, Grant Hoslov, and Grant. Here's how I'll describe who Grant. Grant's an, Grant's an actor too. Do you remember True Lies? With Arnold? Yeah. Dana get down. That's the one. There's an end sequence. In that end sequence, before Dana get down, before Dana got on the plane and Dana was running away, there was a Middle Eastern looking fellow who was a reporter who was part of the who was part of the, the 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 CIA or whatever agency that Arnold's representing, and went into the building, and he had a camera on. He was filming them for like a news broadcast, and then he pulled out a gun and killed a bunch of people. And Dana ran. That guy is George Clooney's producing partner has been in a bunch of things forever, but nobody people forget him all the time. Anyway, no, I, like I digress. So Grant, Grant does good work, but gets no love. Anyway, it's a, it's a docu-series about, about Ohio State sex abuse scandal, which I didn't even know about, by the way. Oh, yeah. Right? And so they're for finally the, doing a docu-series sports, for on sports this. programs, right? One more time? Sports? Yeah. Yeah. Right? And this is, so it's getting a doctor's years. They're finally producing it on Ohio State sexual abuse scandal. And now mind you, I hate Ohio State, but not for this reason. Because I didn't know about this reason, but, yeah, and, and I don't want to see this at all, but it's crazy. I just didn't know what happened. And there's only, there's over 350 alleged allegations against former Ohio State sports doctor, Richard Strauss. And the current settlement is we're paying a quarter million dollars each person, but there's still 200 and some outstanding that they haven't even gotten to yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But this is, again, the system, because a lot of this was system perpetrated, right? Of course. And I, again, I don't know the full story, so I'm not going to go into a whole, like, you know, I'm not going to get all the minutia, but how crazy is that? And yeah, I didn't know about it. it. It's, it's all, listen, all this stuff is in our systems that we just, we, 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 we think we live in this utopia. We think we're great. Um, there's an attorney, Michael Block, who, who tweeted, my client walked out of Rikers Island today. Rikers Island being the uh, infamous New York um, jail. Mm -hmm. After walked out of Rikers Island today, after a jury acquitted him of all charges, he waited in jail for his trial for three years. He lost his job and missed his son's first three birthdays. Break it down, no, really three years of his life. Think about it. If you're missing three birthdays, first three years of his son's life, simply because he couldn't afford bail. He's not unique. This is our system. But, and I will go one step further and say, now that he's out, good luck yeah, good getting luck, a job. Good luck getting a job. You good got luck a gap in your feet. foot. Good, you're, yeah, exactly. You have no money now, potentially, mm -hmm. Right. Good luck getting a job. System luck, fucked you over. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, you better so, justice over order. You got yeah. something else? 
No, I was gonna say just on a on 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 a on a on a, on a weird. So eliminate note, cash bail. We talked about this. Eliminate yeah. cash bail. It's basically because our whole system is based on innocent until proven guilty. So if you've been arrested, you're still innocent. You're being charged, but by law, you're still legally innocent, and you can be locked up for three years as an innocent individual. We're the, we're the so-called land of the free, the home of the brave, blah, blah, blah. Freedom, it's all BS. All BS. So should I get this dog or no? Yes. Get a dog. But if I'm traveling, I'm going to drop the dog at your house? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Way to step up, friend. <laughs> <laughs> we got places around. <laughs> you can watch the dog on camera. I know. How's you can leave the dog when I'm going to LA for a week? There you go. Good. Well, well yeah. Sir. Me, yeah. You take him to these places. No, I know, but I'm gonna leave the dog at a place. You're saying leave the dog at my house. I'm not doing that. No, 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 not your house. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what is wrong? with You me? could also leave the dog at your house and have people, but that's you may not want to. I wouldn't want to, unless but you trust come person. And take him out and come in and take him yeah, on a yeah. walk a few times. No, a day, no I'd want know. him to hang out with other puppies while it's just by, yeah. by himself with me. You know, that's just that's horrible. That's now yeah. that's I feel that's bad. I don't want that. Yeah. But yeah, if a mate gets a dog, which I say he is, he's going to name him Taco. Yeah. Couldn't Beef find a good, Taco. Hati didn't work as a good name. I yeah. thought about Beef it Taco. too. Taco was a good one, I think. Yeah. I was going to go burrito, but it's too many symbols. Uh, symbols, syllables. Yeah. Because yeah. I prefer a burrito, but it's too many syllables. So Taco wins. Um, All right, boys and girls. Justice over order. Be better. Eat better. Exercise. I started exercising, bro. I wake up at 6.30 in the morning. Second week. Sorry. Uh, yeah. First time well done, dudes. Woo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to sound dismissive at, at, at your accomplishments. I apologize. Yeah, I wouldn't really call it accom- I wouldn't really cause that accomplishments. Well, I mean, are you, are you wake up, but are you doing anything after you wake up? Yes, yes. Are you hitting the gym or are you just... No, I'm doing uh, Ramwad. on the TV? Then some, because I, I messed my hip up <laughs> playing football last year. You're I'm doing a lot of hip mobility. Um, then some of your boy at Forzag. Mm-hmm. Little quick core ab workouts, and then mm-hmm. uh, some really quick wads because my uh, your cardio my is breathing garbage. is not. There. <laughs> 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 yeah, All right, time, progress. Bro. Progress. Yes. I'm still trying to get this Maybe plantar steps. fasciitis worked out. Oh, damn. That's bro, I'm having um, my uh, acupuncturist coming to visit on Monday. Put needles. Oh, I think I saw a picture bit. of you on a bed or something. Yeah, that was, I was getting a different kind of treatment there. It helped a little bit, but uh, now I'm gonna get the act. I've got, I'm trying everything, man. I want this thing done already. I can't do dubs for crap. Damn. And and uh, and I like dubs and it's good for the cardio. So anyway. Justice and girls, in order, be have better. A good day. Move every day. Don't yeah. be like me, despite pain and everything. You gotta do, you can do something. There you go. Um, promote, we had issues with Apple last week or this week, last really? week, whenever this comes out. It screwed us over again, so please, it helps their algorithms if you write a review, um, give us a rating. We really appreciate it. Shit, if you don't like the show, give us a why bad rating. I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Why you got to cuss <laughs> in the end, man? Why, why you got to throw the profanity, know. dude? I don't know. Damn but if you're man. listening, you probably like it, or maybe we irk you. You're listening for like a hate love thing. Just do something. Help us out. Appreciate it. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Later.